Good afternoon. We wing you action from not one but two race courses, but live from Newbury for three races and Newcastle for the fighting fifth hurdle. Now, to get your Johnny Bonds on, these are your bets. Here's how the thrill of our races will be showing to you today. We've got the two o'clock here at Newbury, the long distance hurdle over three miles. Then at 2.30, the big one, NAC Gold Cup. Then the fighting fifth. And then a hurdle. And then a handicap hurdle. This is the long distance hurdle. Johnny O'Sullivan will talk you through the runners and riders. Yes, number one, Palini. Number two, Swift Arath. Number three, Cal Bay. Number four, Porta Beluca. Number five, Cashel Blue. Number six, Red Tyke. Number seven, Rose Basket. Number eight, Blanche Ney. And number nine, Juma Palmstar. And here's how they bet. Calcan Bay, 72 joint favourite with Cashel Blue. Then comes Red Tyke at 5 to 1. And Germana Palstar now out to 12 to 1 from 11 to 1. Here's Johnny O'Sullivan to take you through to take you through the actual race. So the other the other back the other side is Palini, Blanche Nates at 14s, Rose Baskets at 16s, and Swift Araf and Duke Luca both 66 to 1 chances. Here's Johnny O'Sullivan. Yes, and they're racing first time, and it's Swift Araf, the first to show from Paulini, a red tyke and cash old blue. And then come Blanche Ney, uh, then Rose Basket, then Kalkin Bay as they jump the first. Jamana Palmstar, the back marker, as they have cleared the first one very successfully here at Newbury. And now they're coming, charging towards the second here. They're coming down the back straight, incidentally. They've started around the back straight here at Newbury. As they come round that bend, going in a good even gallop at the moment. As they take that swift right-hand turn back towards the the home turn, Balini just showing away from Swift to laugh. Then comes Rose Basket, Blanche Ney, Red Tyke, Calcan Bay, Luke of Luca, Duca Luca, I should say, Jamal Palstown, Cashel Blue is first and last. Incidentally, there's a behind the leading two. There's a line of about four or five different horses. Uh, Trying to vie for all the places at the moment. Nine running, of course. All the other seven bunched up together. Paulini in the black and yellow colours, just showing the way from the green coloured jacket of Swift, uh, green and yellow coloured jacket of Swift Alarf in second place. Rose Basket in the blue jumps that next uh, flight in third place with uh, Blanche Ney and Red Tyke disputing fifth place at the moment as they now come to the next. This will be the third flight. Marini showing the way. From Swift to Arf. Another good jump there down the back straight there by Marini. All jumping very, very well. Putting a good storming round. They'll come to the next flight, which will be the last next... Well, which won't be the last next time out. That'll be the second last next time out. As they come down the dip here at Newbury in the home straight. And... We're halfway through that now. This will be the last flight next time out. And Paulini leads over that one nicely from Swift to Arab. Then comes Blanche Ney. Then Rose Basket, Calcan Bay, Cash Owl Blue, Red Tyke, Jamea Palmstar and Duke and Lucas. They now pass the winning post to start their second circuit. Second and final circuit of this hurdle race. A very good competitive race it has been too remember we've got the Hennessy coming up in the next the next hour and the fighting fifth up at Newcastle so plenty of good racing to come plus we've got another handle race as well to come here at Newbury as they go into the dip as they take the left hand turn into the dip Balini leads down it from Swift and Ar and Araf and Blanche Ney Jamal Palms Palmstar has moved up into fourth position and Rose Basket in fifth, Cash Old Blue sixth, Kelkin Bay seventh, Red Tyke eight, and Duca Luca ninth and the back marker. And it's still Palini showing away from Swift to laugh. As they come to the next flight. Down the back straight here at Newbury. Still Palini in the black colours. Here he goes, jumps it in the lead. And uh Blanche Ney now jumping it very well in third. She uh, and they're creeping and and horse and rider on that particular third place horse creeping back into this. Jamal Palstar is fourth. Cashel Blue five. Calcan Bay six. Rose Basket seventh. Red Tyke eight. And Duke and Luca the back marker as they come to the next flight down the back straight. And again a good jump by Paulini showing why he's a very class horse. Certainly in training. His stables He's been very good in the stable yards in the last uh, uh, once I've been watching him as they come to the next flight 
and another good jump there no mistake so far from any of the horses jumping these actually in any of the nine horses and they've put in perfect jumping rounds so far but uh, Paulini's gap has just been um, reined in a little bit by Blanche now who's just ahead of, of uh, Swift Alarm now into second place Swift Alarm has obviously dropped to third as they take the turn out now there's four flights left to jump in this first race the two o'clock and it's uh, Paulini still showing the way from Blanche Ney and Cashel Blue. Cashel Blue, in fact, has moved into second place in similar colours of Paulini, which could be a little bit confusing uh, coming into this. Uh, but back comes Cashel Blue, who takes a second, a sec takes second place by a neck. It's so close now as we come into that final right-hand turn to home, and it's uh, Cashel Blue showing the way in the middle of the two horses, uh, Paulini and Blanche Ney. It's just it's those now in the lead. And here comes Calcan Bay from nowhere. Calcan Bay taking it up now with four fights left to go in this first race at the two o'clock. And that's a good jump from Calcan Bay. Leaning from Cashel Blue. Then Blanche Ney. And then Paulini, the long time leader. They come to three out now in this uh, two o'clock in the hurdle. And it's uh, Calcan Bay from Cashel Blue. Blanche Ney now. It's these two now with three to jump. And it's Cashel Blue now taking the lead back from Calcan Bay. And here comes Red Tyke from absolutely nowhere now with two out now. And it's these three now only. As they come now up to the two furlong marker. One flight to go. And it's Calcan Bay from Cashel Blue. And Red Tyke in third place. Paulini's dropped to fourth. The final fight. Calcan Bay checking brilliantly. Red Tyke's now moving into second place. And it's Cashel Blue. As they go inside the final furlong here in the, in the opening race. And at the line, Calcan Bay will win the will win the money. Calcan Bay will win it. Red Tyke will finish second. Cashel Blue will finish third. Then comes Paulini, Rose Basket, Juca Luca and Blanche Day, Swift Alarp and Jamal Palstar both pulled up. Yeah, let's look at it out now. It's, um, well, Calcan Bay just pulled away with two flights to go and uh, Red Tyke, yeah, as you can see, is coming in to challenge in second place. But, uh, Colkin Bay looks very good there going to that final flight and then he just pulled away jumped it there and he was almost is pretty it was almost as if he was a fresh horse Colkin Bay a very easy winner from Red Tyke who moved into second place and it was uh, as I said Cashel Blue I think came through to finish third so it was a really good race and uh, an easy winner then an easy win then for Colkin Bay let's get the starting prices as follows Yes, let's give you the starting prices then. Num first number three, Calcan Blue. Nine Calcan Bay, rather, 92 or 92. Second number six, Red Tyke, 11 to 2. And third, Cashel Blue. Third number five, Cashel Blue at 5 to 2 on favourite. Nine ran, two pulled up. And a very good race indeed. Right, next up, the two big ones. The NSC Gold Cup next. And the Fighting Fifth Hurdle from Newcastle. Fly Fishing by J.R. Hartley. It is rather old. 
It's by J.R. Hartley. No luck, Dad. Never mind. There's still a few more to try. Good old yellow pages. We don't just help with the nasty things in life, like a blocked drain. We're there for the nice things, too. You do? Oh, that's wonderful. Uh, can you keep it for me? My name, oh yes, it's J.R. Hartley. Well, the game was heading for extra time. I just have to get the big fella off the bench. Could this be their last chance now? In it comes! Monster to the front post! He scored! The honey monster scored in the last minute! He's in the money! It's the honey! Great goal, honey monster! That's football, Kim. Sugar puffs are delicious light puffs of wheat dressed in little honey jackets! That's the bowl. Now for the cup. Mom. Uh. Because of the conditions of the time, the flight 409 for Paris is now delayed. I have a secret, but I'm a little shy, and I can't just tell anyone, so you'll only hear it if you're telepathic. Welcome back to Newbury and to the NSC Gold Cup, the big race of the day. Johnny O'Sullivan has all the runners for you. Yes, number one, Limos. Number two, Baitain Azal. Number three, Newgate Beauty. Number four, Catalang. Number five, First Pass Now. Number six, Amboro Lad. Number seven, Chalatino. Number eight, Papier Mache. Number nine, Authentic Act. Number ten, one Mount Patini at more. Number 11, Shifting Star. Number 13, 12, Private Robs. Number 13, Axiom. And number 14, Judgeman. Here's how they bet. Yes, Newgate Beauty at 8 to 1 favourite. Catalan down, down to 9 to 1. Papi and Mashi at 9 to 1. Shifting Star at 9. Then it's Patita more. And first pass now at 12 to 1. And bedtime Azo, if you fancy an outside bet, is a 25 to 1 shot. And Authentic at the outsider there. At 33 to 1, here's Johnny O'Sullivan to take you through. Yes, thank you very much. And it's Shifting Star, the first to show from Mon Patino Moore, and Catalang, and Newgate Beauty, then Linos, Tuggleman, first pass now by time as a whole, and Private Rose. They come to the first of 21 fences in this uh, NEC Gold Cup, and Non Patino Moore is leading from Newgate Beauty and Catalang, and it's Shifting Star and Shalamin Salinito as they jump the second and a good jump by on Patina Moore and leading there from Newgate Beauty, Catalang and then Shifting Star, Shaliento and Tuckerman. Then comes first pass now and Lambaro right as they jump the next and again all the horses that are there jumping it well by time and so one of the greys in the centre of the bunch about halfway down the track and Private Rose another grey 
is the back markers. They come to the next, and the leader is all over that one safely. Ron Pantanium on, leading from Newgate Beauty and Catalan and Shifting Star. Then comes Papier Mache and Chalorento and First Pass now. And uh, they're still quite bunched together as they take the turn, the right handed turn, back into the home straight here at Newbury. Still the leader. Mon Pantaneamore leading from Newgate Beauty and Catalang and uh, Shifting Star and then Papier Mache coming up there by time and by Dine Anzio. Still there too, the grey horse. Or one or two greys in the one of the two greys in the race. So they jump the next. This is the fifth one. And they, again, they're all up and set. Oh, they has all gone. Lambora, Lan is gone at that one. He's fallen. And we've got the first first casualty of the race. In, they're not in the Elm Straight, but they are in the Elm Straight now. Quite a long, quite a long back. But Lambora had the first one gone out of the star, original starters. And it's Mon Pantania Mornos leading by a couple of legs from Newgate Beauty. Still those two as they come to next. And again, all the survivors... And uh, and back Limos is unseated the rider. They comes in the next very quickly, very quick between fences. But Limos went at the fence before the one they just jumped. But Montpan Moore leads from Newgate Beauty, and he's got a good gap as they jump the next. And they all jump that whoever survives successfully. Well, the leaders definitely did. Private Rose is the back marker now. The other grey by time and so he's about halfway down as they jump the next one, which will be the second last next time around. As they come into the dip, in the home straight, still Montpantinia Moore still giving the lead from Newgate Beauty. This would be the last, the water jump. That will be the last fence next time out. And still, there's 14 out of the 14 runners. Two have gone, so 12 left out of the 14 that started this race. Not too long ago, as they now will go in with 11 to jump. It's Pon Antinia Moore leading as they come to the winning post for the for the final time. Before as they now start their final circuit, still a long way to go in this three mile Hennessy Goniac Gold Cup. And as they're going to the dip now, leaning towards the country, and to the next fence. Mon Pantinia Moore leading from Newgate Beauty and Shifting Star and Catalan and Papier Mache. Then comes by, by, by time Anzo as they all jump the next one. No fallers there at that last fence. And they come now to the next. Montpantinia Moore still holding the lead. Newgate Beauty still keeping in close order as well in second place. Then comes Shifting Star and Catalang as they jump the next. And they all jump over that one successfully, including the map marker, which is Private Rose. Still anyone's race at this stage as they now come up towards eight from home and it's Mont Pamiamor still leading and shifting stars moving into second Newgate Beauty has dropped from second to fourth in the space of two fences Catalang is now in third place in the blue colours so it's still Mont Pantaniamor on the stand side leading now as over the next fence and again everyone and Chalorento has unseated the rider and Chalorento has seated, unseated the rival some day, unseated his rider down there they come to the next one now. Three gone out of out of 14 starters. 11 left in the race. And there's three grey horses as well left in there. First pass now and Private Rose. But by time, Hanzo is still handily placing the chasing pack. But it's Mon Pantinia Moore still leading as they take the final turn. There is a fence on that turn. Which, uh, when Borrow Lad fell last time around. So, here they come round that long right-hand bend. Which will lead into the home straight. Pompman, Monman, Pentinian Moore leading from Shifting Star and Catalan. Near comes the next. This is the six from home. And they all jumped that successfully. The 11 that are left in. Three have gone out of the 14 starters. They now come into the home turn with four fences left to jump in the Hennessy Gold Cup. The big race of the day. Of course, we've got another big race coming up at Newcastle. June after this race is concluded. It's still Montpantinia Moore from Turgerman now is moved up into second place. And another forward there. Newgate Beauty is gone. One of the ladies is gone. Three out. And now Montpantinia Moore is now being coming on to charge. He's been pressed by Turgerman and Catalan and Authentica. And by time Anzo is now moving forward now. Two out. 
And as they jump it, it's a fantastic jump there from Baitai Manzo, who's taking the lead. Baitai Manzo now pulling away from Catalan. He's absolutely timed this run to perfection. And with a second last. And that's a very good jump from Baitai Manzo. From Catalan in second place, Montpantini and Moore has dropped to fourth. And it's authentic at now in third position. Final fence to water jump, and it's a good jump on by Tynanzo. He's now pulling well clear off the field. And as they race up towards the line, it's going to be by Tynanzo from Ireland that is going to take the NSC Cognac Gold Cup. As they race up towards the line, by Tynanzo will win it. And there's a race on for second place. Authentic act just beating Catalan to it, and then Tuckerman in fourth place. Let's see the replay as we come into the final stages here. By time, Anzo absolutely took control from the last two fences and then jumped the last, the water jump, as if it was a, a hurdle, a stuffed hurdle, really, and then in the final furlong, he was practically just coasting home. Easy winner of the um, easy winner of the NSC Goniak Gold Cup, and he could have, I mean, he, it was quite easy. He stayed behind, he stayed in the middle pack, and did it superbly. He wins the Kennedy. Let's get all the starting prices as follows. Yes, number one. By best number first by time Hanzo at eleven to one. Second num second is Authentic Cat, that was at thirty three to one. Third Catalan at ten to one. Then third man at twenty five to one. Man Pantinia Moore who led for a lot of it. Shifting star, private rose, Papier Mache, Axiom, first pass now with the finishes. Limos, Shariento, Newgate Beauty. And Lamboro had neither and seated the rubber or fell. Now we go to the fighting fifth hurdle, and Johnny Hiles is now going to up there to take you through the bonus. Then seven days, all Dialdries, Frank Baum, Suntrap number five, President Correct number six, Jacob McCandles is seven, Ashley Princess is eight, and Buck's Reward is ninth. Uh, so plenty still running as we now, we now start the race. And uh, it's cool to see uh, as the first to show from Seven Days and Frank Baum and uh, Seven Days. Jacob McCandles is there too. Sun Trap also there. Rodandres is there. Bucks Ward as well. Bucks Reward is there. Oh, about second from the back. And President Correct is the back marker at the moment. So, um, as I said, there's only eight. We've taken the first of eight flights here at Newcastle in this uh, 235. The second big race of our uh, JB Sports uh, afternoon's racing. And uh, it's so far so good in terms of good races. We've had two non close, then we've had too many close finishes in our coverage so far. Been clear cut down, certainly down at Newbury at the moment. So Frank Brown now takes it up from Coles River. And then comes Seven Days and All Darries as they jump the next flight. And it's a good jump again by everybody in the race. Ashley's Princess is now the back marker, as you can see. Or you, as you see out of the picture, as I say. Uh, as you'll notice out of the picture. Frank Brown now is taking the lead. Coles River and Frank Brown just uh, battling it out. They're in equal first at the moment. But uh, Frank Brown has just taken the lead there. Seven days is back in third. I mean, he's on a little private back, uh, battle with uh, uh, all Dowdries. Then Bucks Reward is in fifth position. President Correct is 6, Suntrap is 7, Ashley Princess is 8, and 9th is Jacob the Candles. As they make the long trek towards the next one, and there they all jump it very, very successfully. There's a little bit of a private battle still going on up front between L. Frank Baum and Coles River. Or Dowdris is now moved into third place from 7 Days, who's uh, just weakening somewhat here with uh, six fence, uh, 4 fences, uh, or blacks rather, hurdles. Have to jump now as they take the back straight here up here at Newcastle. So we're only ways here from this fantastic track up north. Of course, we'll have one more race to come here on JB Racing afterwards, live from uh, Newbury. And that's another handicap hurdle with Johnny O'Sullivan. And it's Al Frank Baum leading from Coles River and all Dowdries in seven days. They take the fourth from home flight. And in fact, we've had a forward towards the back. Sun Trap has gone at that one. So Sun Trap out of the uh, the uh, nine starters has gone. Number five, Sun Trap is out of the race. So he's uh, he's lost that now. So um, we're now approaching three three flights from the finish. 
And it's Odalder is taking the lead from Frank L. Frank Brown. In fact, he's dropped to third because seven days is now into fourth, into second position. He jumped the third last and jumped it very, very successfully. Odalder is in the blue, pulling away from the green jacket of seven days. Coles River now in third and President Correct fourth. The two out in the in the fight in fifth and it's seven days leading from Mo Daldridge and Coles River and President Correct and then comes Ashley's Princess and Frank Brown. Juxy Rod is in it at the moment as they come to the final fight here in the fighting fifth hurdle. It's Odaldridge leading as they come to that final fight then. And Odaldridge jumps it again brilliantly but back comes Seven Days and the great President Correct. It's Odaldridge from Seven Days and President Correct is moved into second. This is going to be a very tight finish. Odaldridge is just going to win it from President Correct in Seven Days. Well, let's look at the replay. Odaldridge jumped the last superbly. Then Seven Days weakened slightly. President Correct came through here, the grey. And if, he'd, if, the, uh, if the course had been another 100 yards stronger, who knows what might have happened. But it's Udaldris who takes the race. Let's get the starting prizes for the fighting fifth. Yes, Udaldris won it at uh, odds of 7-2 to two on favourite. President Correct came second at 5-1. to one. Seven days in third place at 11-1. Uh, to one. Then comes Coles River at 14-1. to one. Ashley's Princess really disappointed at 10-1. to one. El Frank Bond, the long-time leader, at 66-1. to one. Uh, Bucks Reward finished seventh at ten to one. Disappointing for the odds that it was still on. Quoted Jacob McCandles was the last at twelve to one. One non uh, finisher Sun Trap fell four out at nine to one. And nine ran in that one. After the break, it's time for more racing for Put values to things. This, however, is forty-two. Wow, who says crime doesn't pay? The bigger they are, boss, the harder they fall. I'm thinking of buying a house, sir. On your salary, boss. And how do you intend to pay for it? With your Barclay card. Well, funnily enough, sir, you could get up to £1,500 back from Barclay card with a new Barclays mortgage. £1,500, eh? Oh, well, Belgravia beckons, boss. I think it's a good offer, sir. Just leave the thinking to me. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, Boff, I think we can safely say that this place will be on the market soon. I wouldn't move if I were you, sir. I have no intention of moving, Boff. You're the one who's been wittering on about mortgages. Right, let's get out of here. Don't worry, sir. I've got the evidence. I'd better get back to work. For more information, call 100 Freefern Barclays. touches our lives in quite the same way as electricity. No other form of energy brings us so much enjoyment or 
takes greater care to ensure a constant and safe supply across the nation. No other form of energy can bring such huge resources into operation at the touch of a button. Electricity. Energy for life. I've been accused of taking myself too seriously. Not guilty. Welcome back to Newbury for the final race, the handicap hurdle race. And Johnny O'Sullivan, I'll talk you through the runners and riders again. Yes, number one, Peter Tobolsky. Number two, Bon Maieti. Number three, V.A. Anne Rouge. Number four, Mr. Minister of Interior. Five, Fimor Dan. And six, Shannon Gary. Here's how they bet. And the prices. Bon Maieti is the 7-4 to on favourite. Then V.A. Anne Rouge. At 72, Peter Chikrowski at 8 to 1, Shangari also at 8 to 1, Dimmer Fan at 9 to 1, and Mr. Of Interior, Minister of Interior at 28 to 1. The rope and running is Johnny O'Sullivan. Yes, and it's Bon Mayete to the first to show. They've got 11 fights to take then in this final race of the day. Dimmer Fan in second place, Shangari third, Minister of Interior in fourth, then Peter Drabowski in five, then Lee Leon Rouge. In fact, Peter Drabowski is now the the back marker. It's Bon Maieti takes the first. Dimafan in second place and we be on Bruges in third position. The grey horse. It's Bon Maieti. Striding up towards what will be one of the uh, the second. And she leaves from Dimoff Fan now in second place, then V. Leon Rouge. This would be the second out next time around as they jump the third. As they now go into the dip here in the home straight. There's a bit of a dip here at Newbury coming into the home straight, as you can see. Next flight, which will be the final one last next time out. Okay, and all six jump it nicely. Bon My Eight is still showing the way from Dimoff Fan and V. Leon Rouge, and then Sangarari. Then Peter Wrabowski and Miss Minister of Interior. As they now go past the winning post and they'll go on their merry way down into the country for the second circuit here in the final race of the day, our final race of the day at Newbury. Bon Maieti showing away from Dimofan, then V. Leon Rouge, then Shangari, Minister of Interior, then Peter Wrabowski, the final final runner at the moment he's the back marker for my 80 still showing the way and they're going at a very good gallop it must be said as they come now charging towards the next flight there's six flights left to take in this handicap hurdle on my 80 still showing the way it's a very long run from the winning post to this next uh, flight here comes the next flight and the field now quite bunched out as they all jump that successfully and safely. Bon Maieti still leading from Dimofan and V. Leon Rouge. Then Shangari. Uh, then comes Minister of Interior. And then Peter Dravolsky towards the back. And Bon Maieti still showing away in that maroon, in those maroon and white colours with the dark cap. Dimofan in the red cap in second place. They jump the next fight. Down the back straight, a very good jump again by all all six runners. Again, putting in a very good clear jumping round. And now we come to the fifth from home in the uh, in this uh, handicap hurdle. Three o'clock, and it's Bron Maieti leaning from Dimofan and Shangari, then V Leon Rouge, Rafi Amon Rouge, I should say, Minister of Interior, as he now moved up into fourth position. Peter Drabowski is the back marker. They take the long right hand bend. There is no flight or hurdle flight down this particular thing. There is a, as you saw earlier on in the Hennessy Gold Cup, there was a four earlier on in that particular race in the first circuit there. That's the fence in question. Um, 
But there's no hurdle for it. So there is four down the back straight they need to take now. And then we're going towards the first of those four. Being Leon Rouge is now... That being Leon Rouge is now the back marker. Or Peter Drabowski is now the back marker. As Blond Maeta, who's had a leading disgrace here. From Dino Fran, from Shangari, and then Minister Interior. We're coming to the fourth from home flight here in this uh, final race. And everyone jumps that safely. And it's... Uh, Bon Maiti who's come out the winner out of that one. She's pulling away now from the other three. Shangari showing a clear pair of heels and Minister of Interior in second place. Three out now in this handicap hurdle. And again, another good job by Bon Maiti. She jumps it as almost as if it's a as if a hurdle isn't there. She just Finds the stride and takes it. But here comes Dimofran. Two out as they go into the dip here at uh, Newbury. And it's uh, Dimofran challenging Bon Maiti now all of a sudden. Shangari is trying to move up into fourth place, place and Mr. Minister of Interior fourth. The final fence or the final flight. And now Peter Dabrowski fans is going to run himself. So too does be Leon Rouge. But it's Bon Maiti coming up towards the line inside the final fell. And Dimofran is in second place. Be Leon Rouge third. And at the line, it's Bon Maiti. She's going to win it quite comfortably. And at the line, Bon Maiti wins it. Dimofran second. And Lappy Leon Rouge third. Well, there's no doubt about it. Bon Maiti was pretty good. She she was practically the leader for most of the race. And uh, she kept a very good gallop from practically start to finish. At least a, at least a lap anyway. And uh, she jumped the hurdles very, very good. A good all-round performance. And did very well, very well indeed. Okay, let's get the final starting prices on the 3 o'clock. Yes, first Bon Maiti at 13-8 uh, to eight favourite. Second Dimmer Fran at eight to one. Being Leon Rouge, thirteen to two. Minister of Interior twenty five to one. Shangari fifth at seven to one. Peter Drabowski at seven to one also. All six ran and all six finished. That's it from Newbury for today. We've had some very, very good fun here. Next week, don't forget next week we've got uh, a real bonus for you. Six races from uh, from Aintree and from Sandown Park. Three of the entry all three of our live entry races are over the Grand National Fences. And of course, we've got the Kringle Cheek from Sam Kringle Cheek from Sam Down Park as well. So six live chase races. And we've also got a big match tonight for the Lingon Women's Ladies as well. They're in action. Don't forget to tune in around about seven o'clock on JB Sports. Join Johnny Parry, JB and Johnny Parry for that one if you can. That game incidentally at Turf Moor. But by time. And Zeo in the big one, the Anity Gold Cup. Well, they made you know, the Irish horse made light work of all the courses. He, they came from the, he came from the midfield division to win the race in terrific style. And look at that, she could have got, he could have got on another mile. That's how good he was on the day. He won the Anity. I hope you very much enjoyed our coverage from Newbury and Newcastle. Join us at Aintree, where we'll be based, and Sandown Park as well for the Tingle Creek. Join us all next week if you can on JB Racing. Don't forget the football tonight. Bye for now.